Libra, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. No particular subject, we're gonna do my version of a Celtic cross, see what comes out, and at the end there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your seventh house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for all the continued support in whatever format that comes, whether it's liking a video, commenting, subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's the easiest and fastest way to grow the channel. It uh, sends the messages far and wide. Very much appreciated. Uh, thank you, Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended to buy me a coffee, donations. Keeps me able to do this for you guys, so thank you. And uh, Crosswatchers, you're more than welcome. All the information is in the description box below. Libra, you had a pre-shuffle song. Took me back. Uh, Ace of Bass, The Sign. So you've seen The Sign, it's opened up your eyes to something. Yes. It could be you've opened up the realisation of your fear of abandonment. You're seeing things clearly. So this could be something that you've... Yeah, for some of you, you're seeing something clearly in a person or perhaps you're finding answers as to why things happened the way they happened. Why you were five of pentacles ghosted, why you were left out in the cold or something, why somebody treated you a certain way. I almost feel like there's just a realisation here where you're starting to see answers, you're starting to realise that um, uh, it might have been nothing to do with you uh, and all to do with them. So who knows? King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift, a gift of knowledge. Let's see, two more. Okay, Libra. <laughs> epiphany the tower there is an epiphany there is a, a, an enlightenment of something something has just gone click um you've seen the sign clearly um and it's um it, it can when when you see him see realizations and stuff like that, it can be a humbling experience um so there could be some sort of humbling aspects here, but I just feel like this is an epiphany. Um, you've seen the sign, clearly. Crossing here. Root of the matter. Recent past. What you want. What's coming in. How you see yourself. How others see you. Advice. And potential outcome. Okay. Interesting. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Emperor and the Chariot. Okay. Okay. So we have the tower um, hitting and causing some sort of um, disruption here. This is some sort of an epiphany. Crossing you is the Nine of Swords. Now the Nine of Swords, especially crossing the tower, can and especially with what you want, um, I don't think you want want this what this is, but uh, it can feel like a dark night of the soul. Uh, it, yeah. There's a disconnection here, and I think it's just a realization. You might be getting serious downloads in your dreams, and um, you just every the follow the signs. I saw the sign. Follow the signs in your dreams. Your dreams are revealing something to you extremely important. Um, and you need to acknowledge it. Root to the matter is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of drama. It's a card of conflict. Um, it is competition. Um, there is no race to the top. There's just... I almost feel like you are... Two missing pieces away from completion in creating 
amazing stability. Um, because Libra energy is, and please do not get carried away with this um, um, next statement. But Libra energy, if if you if you look on based on masculine feminine energies, the Libra energy is the masculine aspect, and we've got three kings here. The only king missing is the king of swords, which is clarity. It's um, being able to communicate without fear of other people's opinions. Um, I almost feel like this is a throat chakra issue. But there's something that's happening at the moment. You, you're getting some sort of maybe anxiety, sleepless nights, possibly with the uh, Nine of Swords here and the, and the Moon. Some sort of worry and fear based aspect is keeping you in internal conflict, okay? In the recent past, we have the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate energy. This is a connection. This is um, uh, something that is, it feels like not necessarily a missed opportunity, but this is something that didn't make sense at the time and it's going to make sense now. What you want is the moon. You want that feminine aspect. You want the yin to the yang sort of thing. Um, you know, the, like I said, we've got three kings here, one king missing to complete the yang. Uh, the moon is the yin. Um, interesting, if any of you want to take up yoga or if you, if you, if you do take up yoga, do dive into yin yoga. Um, I'm just looking, this is my yoga card, is the five of wands and then we've got yin right above it at the top. Um, yin yoga is holding positions much longer and you get to breathe into the area, releasing a lot of tension, releasing a lot of stuck emotions, stagnant emotions, letting it rise to the surface and letting it out, uh, like opening the floodgates. Um, and I, I mean, I swear by yoga now, I, I practice most days and the difference that I get from leaving the practice uh, I, I appreciate not everybody's got the opportunity to go to a, a studio or anything like that, but you can do it online. Uh, YouTube has thousands, hundreds of thousands of different uh, um, uh, instructors and very, very good ones. Uh, but if you can get to a studio, do get to a studio. But when I, every time I leave, uh, especially after the meditation aspect, when I say that I walk out and the birds are singing bright you know the, the 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 music that they're creating is just beautiful the colors everywhere around me are crisper it is an elevation without without question an elevation of frequency so do look into it and i, and I especially see yin yoga there's there's no coincidences in life i i mentioned yin when i saw the moon um and it really gets into the the deep into the fascia of the, uh, of the fascia, should I say, um, and releases a lot of pent up, stuck emotions. It's gonna be really, really helpful for you. Uh, I also see a lot of um, throat chakra um, yoga poses, so do look up those, um, kind of like a upward facing dog and uh, the lion's breath uh, would be um, beneficial for you. What's coming in is the Page of Swords. And this is what I mean about being like two steps away from completion. So we've got the Page, no, you have three steps. Um, page to the Knight, to the Queen, to the King, to complete this, um, this whole format. It doesn't mean to say that you've got three steps to, to do. I just feel like there's a jump here. This could be perhaps a wound that in how you deal with um, conflict. How do we deal with conflict? Do you stand up to it like a King of Swords would? Or do you avoid it at all costs like a page would? This could be based on um, uh, guilt issues as, um, as, a, as a child, uh, inner child wounds. I did screenshot for somebody earlier actually, inner child wounds, let me just find it. I thought it was very, very interesting.
Okay. An inner child guilt wound may look like feeling responsible for other people's emotions, difficulty resting and relaxing, blaming yourselves for things you couldn't control, rigid tendency to please others to the point of self-neglect, trouble setting boundaries, or saying to yourself you should be doing more. Other wounds, we've got abandonment wounds, which obviously we had that abandonment issues that we saw earlier in the pre-shuffle. Uh, it can be feels left out, is afraid of being abandoned, hates being alone, is codependent, threatens to leave. Uh, that's that's one of the threats that they do, is threaten to leave. Normally attracts emotionally unavailable people. A trust wound, is afraid to be hurt, doesn't trust themselves, finds ways not to trust people, feels insecure and needs lots of external validation, doesn't feel safe, normally attracts people who don't feel safe. And the neglect wound, struggle to let things go, has low self-worth, gets angry easily, struggles to say no, represses emotions, shies away from being vulnerable, normally attracts people who don't appreciate them or make them feel seen. And the guilt wound, just in this one in particular, feels sorry or bad, doesn't like to ask for things, uses guilt to manipulate, is afraid to set boundaries, normally attracts people who make them feel guilty. And there's just something here about how you deal with conflict, um, conflict and childlike. So this could be silent treatment, this could be um, doing something in, in, in odd ways, this could be um, if there's advice given, do you put up blocks? There's so many things that could be uh, taken from this. How you see yourself is the Two of Pentacles. This is happy go lucky. This uh, is living moment to moment, or it could be a situation where you're just juggling, keep trying to keep things uh, from falling. How others see you is the King of Cups. Uh, they see you. In fact, others are actually watching you, especially with this Page of Swords here. Page of Swords is the spy card, uh, and the, the King of Cups I'm seeing in the traditional deck where it's kind of like a side eye. Um, so yeah, there's um, there's um, somebody definitely keeping their, keeping tabs on you, I will say. Your advice is the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is dominion. And I kind of feel like this is getting clear in what you want. Where do you want your growth? Uh, where do you want to head? It's like some, there's an epiphany that's coming at this point. You're seeing possibly partnerships for what they um, truly are. And it's giving you a different outlook. Your outcome is the hanged man, the seven of wands and the king of wands. I think you're going to thaw out whatever needs to be thawed out and it's going to release a lot of, this is emotions, stagnant emotions. Uh, and I almost feel like it's gonna battle through this, uh, this these sandbags here and really come to the surface. I feel like this is gonna happen for a lot of people. Cancer had it, Leo had it to a certain extent. Um, there's something that is bubbling and it's ready to explode. Go into your asanas, go into yin yoga, um, find that voice, work on the throat chakra and you're gonna see, when you step into the emperor role, and like I said, do not get caught up in genders. We all have to embody the masculine and feminine. When you begin to stand up for yourself and speak your truth, which is what's lacking here, because you, you're the king of the wands, you're the king of cups, you're the king of pentacles, the last thing is is being clear and honest. There's something that you're not saying. And when you do that, when you realise that, and you, nobody's stopping you. Let's see where the king of swords is. And like I say, when you do that, you, you, there's no codependencies anymore. You know, there's two people in this. That emperor is with the chariot and the ace. This is you leading the way, knowing exactly what direction to be going in. Uh, and interestingly as well, we do have the ace of wands, which is creativity and birthing of new idea. Uh, you could be giving birth to something, possibly um, actual birth, uh, maybe in uh, um, cancer season. But I'm mainly seeing cancer season. Aries uh, is when the North Node goes into Aries in cancer season and it's a brand new beginning leading away here. Where is the King of Swords? What is your truth, Libra? <laughs> I 
that's a nice balance actually because we've got um so we're just waiting for that truth to complete you we've 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 got the moon and the masculine then if we find that truth um and we've got the sun with the empress uh, which is a nice balance of yin and yang so things are looking good okay it's, it's all about boundaries there's something that you're not doing there's um king of swords is with the nine of wands and the hermit um there's a need to set boundaries there's a need to be clear in what you want the answers lie within you it's something that you know there's there's a burning in within you there's a follow the signs like i say the world page of wands the fool seven of swords devil and the knight of swords there's some sort of um, blockage that when you find it, when you see the sign, whatever uh, that was pertaining to, your life's going to be very different. Moon with the um, the hanged man, the moon in Pisces, I'm seeing in the moonology is um, meditate and contemplate, but balance practicality and spirituality. Yes, we need to be uh, in the efforts, but we still need to be grounded and rooted. Uh, and that's, I can almost feel like daily duties as well, of clearing your energy and, uh, and protecting your energy. Again, boundaries. Um, so pay attention to your dreams, watch for the signs. Um, big changes are coming, find that voice. And when you do, you complete a whole picture here and the benefits come from that. In your extended, we will look at the benefits. We'll, we'll see what uh, finding your voice is going to bring you and um, see what we know, what we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Aries and Scorpio, Mars in Gemini, Saturn in Leo, Sun in Scorpio, Cancer Pisces, um, Jupiter in Capricorn, Mars in Aries, Pisces, Mars in Leo, Mars in Scorpio, Mercury in Virgo, Mars in Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Sun in Virgo, Wands, Swords, Pentacles, Cups, everyone's here, those of you standouts, take care, see you soon.